at that time i had blood leaking from me at very fast pace so i had to tie myself up so i did that controlled it i called up uh, my insurance to know which is the nearest cashless facility available right i am doing a startup so i don't have that kind of cash that i can look for so i did that i arranged an ambulance but ambulance was too far right so that's why i came out uh, i got hold of two people whom i handed over the car keys and they drove me to the nearest hospital which was 2 hours away hey guys i am mudit dandwate ceo and co-founder of dozy welcome to backstage with millionaires and today i'll be sharing my journey in which how i started with race cars made a cricket bat and now how i am working to simplify healthcare see college for me right was pretty much learning and i think the biggest thing that i took out from my college was e developing my interpersonal skills right and second was about the products how to make useful products and not just uh, some engineering equations which we solve right so that was the biggest thing in fact if i can tell you we in my college days i worked on four race cars all terrain race cars electric race cars right very fast ones in fact right and uh, not just on the paper we actually took them out uh, from paper we took them into computer simulations built the entire prototypes took them even outside india raised right and uh, and and they were pretty pretty good right so that was big experience that i had because there i got to learn how how you actually make things which work uh, that is the engineering for you uh, and secondly how to manage huge teams and then the teams that we were managing in making those race cars were more than 70 people right so you know how to get things done how to make timelines project it was almost like you are running a full fledged company over there right so it was a great experience that uh, race car team still exists it is carried forward by students who are there now but yeah that made us in certain way whom we are right now the second such experience in college itself and just after that was uh, actually making a cricket bat right so we re redesigned a cricket bat uh, in a way that edges don't carry to the wicket keeper right so it reduces the reaction time of the wicket keeper and eventually even that that bat uh, was shown to the greatest of the the legends of the cricket at that time such as afridi wasim zafar almost everyone right and they had great reviews of it and we ended up selling it to sledgenza and uh, and again so so that was a big validation for us and turning i would say turning mudit the engineer also from making some things which are accepted by the market right because it is still being used so that's a great validation for me after that i joined a company called alter engineering and again it was still around race only because the product that i was working on was a race driver which was an ai based driver which actually if you hook on to a software uh, it pushes the car to the limit tests its uh, uh, limits right and and testing of it uh, it was again a great success we ended up even selling that to major players in automotive industry right and that is where my life changed right and this was in germany it was my 24th birthday i would say uh, and i still remember it very clearly so i was doing a reflection of what i have done uh, what is the impact of what i am doing right and what i figured out was what so far whatever i have done in 24 years they were very cool stuff as in i have made race cars i do scuba rock climbing i i make softwares which are being used by major companies race cars right all amazing things but it didn't had the kind of impact that i would have loved right i didn't had that uh, satisfaction i would say uh, and i i was aware of the fact that this is the highest energy period of my life you can say right 24 to 30 years is the highest energy so i wanted to actually do something at least try right don't have that regret at the end of it that i didn't try so i wanted to start a company which actually has much higher impact than what i am doing because i had nothing, nothing to lose right no one depends on me at this time i can actually take that plunge so i wanted to start something in healthcare and that's where i got along got back discussed it with gora who was very excited again and and he immediately uh, left his job right even before i would do he left his job and and that that even made me leave my job and we started this company called dozy right which was into contactless health monitoring so the 
problem that we were addressing right uh, was that the healthcare as we saw was very complex uh, moment anyone is ill or anyone has any kind of uh, monitoring which has to be done people have to be surrounded by wires or they'll take out blood or it's not very human right according to me and i wanted to change that i wanted to make it very 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 easy and that's even what gaurav was uh, very excited about gaurav uh, in person right one of the best thing that i love about him is his transparency right he uh, whatever he is inside he will reflect that outward out, outside right and and that makes it very very easy to work with him right at times it becomes even very tense right you don't want to hear the everything up front but it is easy to work with like that and and it is really great to have a co-founder like this i would say and we had a good start right as soon as we started in a matter of months we had made sensors using our engineering background so as i told i had good product experience so making prototypes was always my forte so we quickly made that we validated it with top institutions hospitals we cracked few uh, uh, research deals as well right and that's how we started and we hired a full team of engineers product guys and that's how our two years of our company was uh, and at the end of it we had a technology which was stable right and that's where something happened which i would say changed my life forever i still remember as when i was coming back from a client delivery right and that was a very stressful period of my life at that point right and it was also very stressful for the two dogs that we had right in the office and therefore we decided so great i'll take them out for a walk right and that's where and i was always up for nature and things like that so we went outside bangalore uh, slightly outside bangalore in the outskirts of it and uh, we were doing our general running playing i was also preparing for marathon at that time right so i remember that so while you we were running right uh, so one of my dogs decided to take a plunge in the lake he is a lab so he can't resist that really so he loves water so he went quite deep into it right and and that's where it beca- became little concerning for me because it looked like or it seemed like that he is drowning over there right and uh, again i was not aware as and why is, is he drowning was the question that came to my mind i immediately got into the lake uh, and i got to potato that's the name of the dog right i got to potato and uh, i grabbed him in, in my left arm and i was swimming back right? and this was deep into the lake so this uh, and a crocodile actually came and uh, grabbed my arm and uh, that's where and and that crocodile was actually taking me quite deep into the lake inside the water that's where i had to take a very tough decision i think which which did change my life so at that time i had to choose between my arm or my life literally and i decided to uh, break my own arm so i did a somersault that broke my arm caused the detachment i came out of the lake right uh, but still the problem was half solved and then i saved my life i saved life of my dog but now there were many other potential harms which could have uh, as in led to my death right over there as in i have to be very practical and frank about it at that time i had blood leaking from me at very fast pace so i had to tie myself up so i did that controlled it i called up uh, my insurance to know which is the nearest cashless facility available right i am doing a startup so i don't have that kind of cash that i can look for so i did that i arranged an ambulance but ambulance was too far right so that's why i came out uh, i got hold of two people whom i handed over the car keys and they drove me to the nearest hospital which was 2 hours away right and that was the most nerve breaking pain that i had gone through of course you can imagine that but there were few more things which i was actually managing at that time i was concerned about how others will react to it right especially my parents as in they would be heartbroken so i immediately called up my parents i told them what had happened and uh, because i didn't wanted them to figure that out from news channel or anywhere else right so i did that and i think that was a good thing i did because otherwise i don't know what would have happened how they would have taken it but that happened then i was also there were few more things which were happening now because of this pain and since i always loved neurotrauma and things like that 
my brain was actually tricking me that okay now you have done some things you have managed things things are under control why don't you just take a nap right and and things would be easy after that but i know right that is the way people slip into coma so i was again fighting my own brain how to not do that because i could not afford to and the reason why i was doing a startup had actually put that kind of perseverance or zeal or that strength in me at that time because i knew that at this point it is not just about me right i am doing this what about the cause that i started this for what about people who are working right i can't risk all that and i was quickly managing that somehow i got that strength as well right i reached hospital then it was all good but again the reason that i was doing a startup uh gave me a uh, strength i was back in office in less than 7 days right and uh, and yeah and then i started i started to relearn things i started to do things with one hand and things like it in fact uh, i made design of my own arm in icu that day itself when the accident happened right because see at the end of it yes something happened right but it is a part and parcel of things and then i can't as in just be there worry about it i have to solve it and one thing which i always trusted or interested myself upon was that i am a good engineer for everything i think that probably we can find a solution the engineering way so yes i have lost an arm but can i make one was the immediate challenge and and that was more personal rather than anything else right because i made a design that day in icu i could sleep that day and i slept quite peacefully because i knew that i have solved the issue uh in matter of 2 to 3 months with the help of gaurav again right and the entire team pitched in and we built my own arm and and you know what this arm is is actually made of same material is made of same material under the glove if you see it is made of the same carbon fiber material which i used to make my race cars on so it also has a little throwback of my past life and all those um uh, but yeah that's how it uh, went ahead after that again i think life was pretty back to normal in very very quickly i was blessed with uh, very great friends family was very supportive all throughout and no one made a big fuss about it whatever happened happened but as in we were just finding solutions and what's next right and and that was such a great thing to happen to anyone right i would say that if this happens to anyone better have friends and family that i have right because they gave me such a strength that i can i actually deal with it uh right and life moved on we actually launched the product dosi after that that very year and that was a great thing now in fact if i can tell you about dosi also it uh, it it is changing the way healthcare is how i envisioned that 24th birthday so i was very happy i can now see the use cases it is aiding to old age healthcare right so old people their kids are remo- uh, living remotely and they can monitor their parents health so it is connecting families then burn patients people who cannot use any contact based monitoring again dozy uh, which is kept under their mattress and is monitoring all their vitals and everything is helping them psychiatric patients again this is the invisible way of monitoring and all throughout what helped me a lot right in this entire thing there is something called phantom limb pain which can come any time which is very severe at times right uh, i was actually introduced to uh, something called mindfulness uh, by my mother and that helped me manage the pain whenever it came those episodes and all those things and and that's what we even launched in even the product i was thinking that if it helped me so much why we can't open it for others as well as and, and we tried to make it very simple that anyone can practice it you just lie down on it you put on your earphone jacks and it guides you all throughout it's an ai based uh, meditation practice which actually hears you and then helps you all throughout right so that is in nutshell what i have done so far going ahead i want to finish uh, what we started right we started with the aim of simplifying healthcare again you remember lots of wires attached and what's not i think we have achieved to certain percentage to certain extent we have achieved that but moving ahead we want to even go further right uh, right now the kind of use cases which are there great we want to go deeper into that we have just explored or we have just scraped the surface of it right now i want to reach out to more and more people i want to make sure that 
elderlies all around all around the world actually right they come on to this platform they get superior care i want to ensure that people who are stressed people who have sleep issues they do have solutions right and we are making those for them right and then my next step which we want to take we want to integrate this very deeply with healthcare right right now as you see healthcare is very disjointed healthcare at hospital is different healthcare at home is different healthcare what happens in between is very different right what if they were all unified right at the end of it the customer or the person is one right so why the person has to change their regimes why the person has to follow different habits why the person has to go to so many things right why they can't unify or come together on a common platform so that the consumer experience of even the healthcare which actually is based on the word heal right and it should be very human according to me right i find it slightly discomforting that few of the most in hospital hospital places in this world are hospitals so i actually want to make healthcare very human and and for that i need some great people to start with we do have i have assembled a great team and and that's i think the biggest assets that i have uh and uh, point that they are working and sharing the common vision is testifying the fact that yes we are on the right track i want to get more such uh common headed people i would say and also make sure that they get what they want in their journey right at the end of it i want to make sure that individually whoever is also working with us they get what they they deserve right they all deserve huge things and I, i'll make sure they do right so that was my story my journey do share it with people who you think can benefit from this journey do leave your comments below uh, and i'll make sure that i'll get back to you and if you are concerned about your parents health your own health or you want to get more uh, insights about your own health do check out dozy from www.dozy.io and thanks a lot for watching until then stay healthy